It is time once again for the Real People Multi-Game Solitaire Mega Tournament where although we have been working on time management, we've been having difficulty finding the time to play. Who has not been having difficulties is Kat, as in Kat. She um, is almost going to be in the tribal phase. That's going to happen here soon. She, she's, she doesn't really have much to do this turn. She's just going to be doing some, trying to fight the scimitar cat, maybe get a trophy, maybe get some of her, her cubes killed off, hopefully those yellow ones. Um, but she's not going to even have to worry about chaos too much anymore because when she goes, goes into tribal, these all come floating back. Um, not so much interested in getting daughters. She's liking uh, letting other people get the daughters and then sending her, her people to just go marry them with their, their great courtship success. She also has a warrior now, so she can, um, she's, she can, uh, the other people uh, don't really have the, the, the humans or the, the wherewithal to really want to fight her. So what's everyone else doing? Um, we see Danimal here who is still trying to get daughters. This daughter that came up, this basket weaver, wasn't very interesting to anyone. It gives you a benefit if you're gathering. No one's gathering anymore because we have no one who's promiscuous. And it lets you place a black portal. But you know, there's so many daughters around now that, that people don't really care about these portals. So anyway, that's not what you're here for. You're not here for my analysis. You're here for me rolling some dice. So she's got an alpha over here, Kaz and Kaz. She's going to go first. That's going to be roll a one because it's a warrior alpha. And it's going to do very well against that summon her cat. And then we have four others. So we're just going to roll four dice. And we're going to assume there's a one floating there. I could even turn a dice up, but a die up and say it's a one just so that you could see it. But I think we can just imagine it. We don't even have to, we don't have to use the prop for this. All right. So we got close to that coveted four of a kind, but I think actually what we're going to see here is just a lot of death. She didn't even uh, get any babies back. So the die on fives and sixes, so that's six units. Sometimes it's best to do nothing than to act, but she did get rid of those yellow cubes. One, two, three, four, five, six. And, you know, with an alpha, she should be able to get her population back up. But that's that's pretty low there. Let's see if we can get some better news here for Danimal. Danimal also didn't have much to do this turn. His, he's at his hand limit. Um, but he does want to get rid of that black disc in the, the flint mine, so he'll go ahead and do that right now. And he is successful. Um, and even if he did get three of a kind or whatever, he wouldn't want to take it into his hand. So this basket weaver is now open. And finally, a roll for um, Sid, who really just wants to get orange, orange discs off of her woman with a name. Um, have we presumed to give her a name yet? I know I thought about it, but I don't know if we did. Okay, just just three more discs left, and then that woman with an, and then she has to marry it, and then she has to mature the husband, then she can use the woman with a name. I hope there's enough turns for that. There's not a lot of things to get rid of orange discs. Luckily, she can do it uh, as an action. Um, so let's go ahead and, and and go tribal here. Should we do that? Should we just do this without cutting? Um, what's the process? So first we have to p pick a disc. It doesn't matter. We're going to put a disc up here and then just flip it and then they're all going to come back. So we'll just go ahead and take those off. And, you know, she has access to every daughter out there pretty much. So I'm assuming she can put the disc out there. We're going to flip it left-handed. And then, what does she have? She had a warrior, a trapper, and a fire starter there. And that is really special. So now that she's tribal, she's going to be able to get a chief. I think a chief is what you need. No, no, a shaman. A shaman, and then she'll be able to domesticate animals, which are worth big points. Four points. Too bad she killed off her population. Um, Danimal, what does he want to do for, for his thing? Chicka, 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 choo, choo, choo. He probably wants to put a disc up there, right? So what can he put up? He can put up a white bison if he wanted to. He already has that. A black bison, he could do that. Um, he would like to do an orange if possible. And something on shaman would be good because then he could get a warrior, a white shaman. Does he have a white shaman? Nope. He's, he can put down black, orange. He's got that already. Orange shaman. Orange shaman or black. So it looks like he's going to be trying to get up to his warrior. Well, he's just really going to put things down. He's going to do orange. Orange is a little less useful for him right now. 
black helps you in fighting ties. And then Sid, does she have what it takes to go tribal? I don't know if she wants to. Um, yeah, if she put down a white bison, she could go tribal. Or she could keep working on her woman with a name. Yeah, now I wonder if you can take off these orange discs when you're not tribal. Let's take a look at the the um, the book here. No, too far. This is, this is, um, I hope you appreciate me not cutting. I'm doing this to kind of save time. I'm just going to kind of just film the whole time, and then when I'm done, it's just going to be done. We'll just try that as a time management strategy. How does that sound? Just kind of do it all in one take. There we go. Okay, yeah, if you're tribal, you can just do it. It doesn't matter what's in there. So why not just go tribal too? free this up? Oh, could she do it? Um, she had one there. Maybe. Oh, yeah, she could put down a black bison. All right. So she has no elders, but there she has that. She needs to get some more babies. Oh, yeah, she got some more babies, didn't she? There we go. All right, I guess I'll cut it now. No, let's just keep going. Here's the event. Um, okay, we've got to roll for some elder losses. Now, her, her rank six is immune, but the rest are open. Let's see, rank three. She doesn't have a rank three right now, so she's okay. Animal. Four and a five, that's not going to affect him, and Sid, of course, doesn't have that. And then this is the blizzard, so everything has to be supported. I think since we have so many husbands out there. Oh, no, wait. These elders are not supported. Only one of them is supported. What does she want to keep? She wants to keep the um, fire starter, because the fire starter lets her promote the other ones for free. So she's really running out of population here. I think um, Kay has a lot of husbands, but now she, she only has six up left here. So it's going to be hard for her to get the, the three of a kinds and four of a kinds that she needs um, to domesticate, which is kind of how she maybe wants to get points going forward. Um, however, I think she's married someone that helps her domesticate, right? The animal whisperer. So maybe that'll be okay as long as she can keep that. But she's kind of on a fine edge. Going after the scimitar cat was kind of not a good choice. She probably should have just kept all her hunters home, maybe. Maybe that's what she could have done. All right, here we have a swearing woman. Ignore preconditioned tools. Preconditioned tools, what are those? I think that's these things here. I don't think that's gonna matter. So this woman is pretty much only compelling to Danimal because she's worth a little bit more points. Someone else could bid on her if they wanted. Sid could bid on her. She's worth a point, but it just seems kind of like a hassle. You know, I mess with it. So we'll, we'll just say Danimal takes it for one. We're not even going to worry about it. Maybe that's hubris on the part of our um, pair bonding women over there and over there. But it just doesn't seem worth it to, to spend a lot of time bidding on more, more daughters. Oh, and actually, I don't think they even can. You know, they're tribal, so I don't think it even matters. Because I don't think any, any of them has the... I don't think... There's a daughter out here that lets you bid on daughters if you're tribal. I don't think that one's out, so... Doesn't matter. All right. So, what's our order? It's going to be Kaz first again. Kaz first a lot. What does she want to do? She could marry this basket weaver, but I think she wants to spend her time getting bibbies. So, what do we have out here that has a lot of bibbies? So, that does, but that's not going to be very good. She wants something that's not so traumatic or difficult to fight. She could go back again to that scimitar cat, but that's not a very good chance either. She might just want to take the easy route. Well, she can stick her alpha right here and take the flounder for sure. And then is there a chance for something else? Because she kind of really wants to pump up her um, her stuff big time right now. Maybe go against the red deer. That gives her a chance for some more. You know, she, she needs to watch out, though, because people could start coming for her. And maybe they will. Maybe they will. Um, who's next? Swearing woman. That's going to be Sid. Sid, what does Sid want to do? She can probably get some elders going, right? Let's get some elders going, and she also wants some bibbies. I don't know that she necessarily wants to spend her resources going after Cat right now, because that would just kind of hand the game to Danimal. I think she's going to let them deal with each other, and she's going to spend her time instead 
going for, well, she does want that flounder, though, too. So maybe we're going to see some, some stress over the flounder. She could also try to marry here. That's a, yeah, but she doesn't have the for sure success. I think she's going to send three in on the flounder. And she wants to get rid of those orange discs, remember. And then what else to get baby? She could get in a pretty easy shot at that snow mare. You know what? Maybe she is gonna she is gonna just follow where Cat went and just see what happens there. That's gonna be kind of exciting. So then we, that brings us to Danimal. Now does Danimal want to mix in with this? They could they could just knock Cat out. So she's just stuck with what she has. That's kind of interesting. Um, what else could Danimal do? He needs to get rid of that black disc, or he would like to. And other than that. Babies aren't really something he wants right now, so he'll send three in the flint mine, and then maybe, what else? Oh yeah, he could get an elder, that would be nice. He can get a warrior, ooh, 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 boop, 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 boop. So he can send that warrior over to here, like that, and then this one, don't know that hus doing a husband's that compelling. Maybe I'll send another one here and just kind of knock it out. This could get in, and get very bloody. Okay, so let's do our fighting. Kaz and Cat gets to go first. Um, so she's going to for sure kill one of these because it's an alpha. And then she's going to roll two of these. She's going to... She got one success there. Now, I wonder if she gets to choose... You get to choose who you would take from, but I think they probably get to choose the cube, I'm assuming. So it's going to be Danimal. It's going to take one of those. All right. So now, next, we're going to go... Actually, Sid maybe could have gone first. I don't know. We'll let Sid go now. See if she takes out Kaz and Kaz Alpha. She does not. Double box cars is what you call that. That's two box cars. And then she's going to go against... Again, she was not successful. So finally, the animal is going to take out this one with his alpha, and then roll two dice, and he might get rid of two of Kaz and Cat's cubes. He got rid of. He got rid of it. All right, things are heating up. Wow, look at that! Down to one lone cylinder. Um, then, but she's going to get get a couple cubes back now because she gets automatic success with her alpha, thanks to she has. Oh, she only has one effect right now, but she has this flint mine. Um, actually, it's fishing wire that lets her do that. Oh, yeah. Okay. I forgot this. This would have made these guys um, also immune, so she doesn't. She wouldn't even have to roll for elder loss. But the ones that she lost, she did lose. Um, all right. What's next over here? We're going to go for the flounder. Oh wait, no, she was successful with the flounder. So these go home. That's too bad for, for Sid. Maybe she should have put more in there. Part of going live like this, I mean, I'm not stopping at all. So I'm not really thinking too much either. But successful on the deer. So that's going to give her three babies. Black and a white, those don't matter. These guys got to go home. That's okay. They were just there for the blood. They weren't really wanting to hunt a deer. And here's where the action is for Danimal, is to get that flint mine. And boom, there he goes. Flint mine time. Swearing woman is engaged, and what can he do? What can Cad do as an action now? Elder action. Um, oh, she can she can't do anything because she doesn't have any elders. She needs to get some elders down. Should have thought of that, Cat, huh? Um, and then here we have Sid. What can Sid do as an elder action? Nothing, because she has no elders out. Um, and she, she's not placing any portals, so great on you. Now, what can Danimal do as an elder action? Well, he can go tribal, right? Wouldn't you? So we'll save this four and six. And there's going to be no more daughters. That's okay. I think there's only one card left. Oh, my gosh, we're almost done here. Unless this event pulls things out, what's going to happen I didn't know how exciting this was until I learned how exciting this was. So, I gotta, do I have time to even finish this? No, I don't. Okay, we're going to have to probably cut it. Um, 
after this. Ah, well, let's go through the event and then we'll cut it and I'll probably be able to come back today and do another t long take and then finish the whole freaking game. Um, okay, 17, sorry. It's gonna push up Merck's rhinoceros, which scares away the scimitar cat, I think. And chaos, I don't think anyone's gonna have a problem with that right now. I'm not even gonna count. Um, that's not gonna be a problem either. Yep, my premature shipper. Actually, the animal's kind of close to not having enough to support because this one's not married, but I think we're okay. Um, that's the one where you have to support each dependent with two hunters. And then Wanderlust. Wanderlust isn't going to happen because there's no chaos loss. That's something important to note. Um, when I first played this game, I thought that because it says if you're tied in the... Well, so how Wanderlust Lust works is you lose cubes to other players if you lost the most during the chaos event. But if you're tied then it goes to someone or other. Maybe the first person on here is the one who does it. Maybe that's it, I don't remember. But the point is, is if you're tied and the tie, you're tied for zero, like there's no losses, then Wanderlust does not take anything away. That's not clear in the rule book, but I did some searching online and I found out that that's the case. So there's a hot tip for you to help you understand the game better. And um, I'll come back in a little bit to finish this off. Okay, we're back. We had some sort of data error on my camera. And so I don't know if, if the first really long take um, got filmed or not, but we're right at the end of the game here. And, um, uh, it was Danimal's turn to go first because of this. No one's going to bid on this daughter because they can't. It's a housewife. Husband promotion is free. Not really going to matter at this point in the game anyway, except that the daughter would be worth a couple points. Um, but Danimal gets to go. Danimal's got to... De he decided that he's going to let Ka go first. And he can do that because he has a warrior elder. So Ka, what's she looking at? She's not really going to be able to domesticate anything. It's too late in the game. She doesn't have a... Sh she could get a shaman right now. But I don't think a domesticated animal counts unless it's mature. Um, I guess I could check on that. We don't have a ton of time, though. Wow, cost free energy game ending victory. Okay, the game ends. Oh, I don't know Yeah, they only count if they're mature, so that's not gonna matter, right? So then she has to decide, does she wanna risk going out here at all? I mean, having more hunters, hunters are worth a point each, so it's, you know, she could get more hunters. Uh, but however, her elders are worth two points each. So why not, just to be safe, just kind of park all her cubes as, as elders? She, what, what would she like to have? Um, cost free elder actions. Oh, ah, here we go. This is actually a, a something she can do. She, if she gets a cost-free elder action, right, she can go ahead and domesticate, and it will cost nothing. So she'll do a shaman and a chief, and then her alpha, she might want to be able to just keep her alpha safe, or she can send it out there to get some babies. Let's go get some babies. Do something. You know, it's only a point you're risking. Oh, it's actually three points, but she can just change something else to be an alpha, I think. All right, so that's what she's going to do. Um, so second is going to go, I guess if he chooses who's first, is he going to choose second? I guess he'll choose Sid to go second here. I'm going to pause it a second. Someone's coming. All right, the coast clear. Sid went while while we were off offline there. Um, what she's doing is going to be kind of tricky because it it's going to require a couple of things to work. Um, and it's probably not going to work, but she figures she's kind of feeling pretty down about how this game's turned out anyway. What she needs is another one of those orange discs, right, that she keep, keeps having to go for. And there are just aren't a lot of sources for them out there. Um, if she gets that, she can do cost-free elder actions. Um, and then she's also hoping she gets this flint mine here. Um, and she wants to get the invention in her hands. So she's got to get three of a kind. And, you know, it's just like so many things that have to work out. Um, also, gosh, this is dumb. Actually, she, shouldn't, she wouldn't even do this. Because 
trying to get this, she can't because Kaz and Cat goes before her, right? So she's gonna just take that automatically because it's her alpha, unless she can kill Kaz and Cat's guy. So we'll do that. We'll we'll just set it up like a, so many things has to happen. She has to kill the alpha, um, and Kaz and Cat doesn't have a warrior, so it's gonna actually have to fight. Um, she's got a okay chance. She's got to roll a one on four dice. Um, all right, so that's what she's trying to do. And then Danimal's just kind of doing, he's just kind of coasting out. Put some elders down so that he can he can get this wild boar domesticated. And then he's going to just get some babies uh, from the red deer, our final red deer hunt of the game. So let's go ahead and do our, our last combat of the game now. And Kaz and Cat is going to go first. Just roll one die. That's a five. Five isn't going to quite cut it. Um, Sid's... Hunters retaliate. Remember, her whole plan kind of, it, it all comes down to this role, really. And she's successful. She killed Kaz and Cat's alpha. I'm going to assume that Kaz and Cat could just make another one in alpha. I, that's how I, because you, you score more for ha having an alpha, but I think that just means you have the capacity to have an alpha. Oh, but she doesn't even have a capacity to have an alpha. That was an oversight. Okay, so that's not even going to matter. It was not even an alpha in the first place. Uh, to have an alpha, you have to have a three, four, or five elder, and that's exactly what she doesn't have. Okay, never mind that. Um, so that was a whole lot of thought about very little. Um, so Kaz and Cat gets no final rolls of the game. She's just done. She's going to get to domesticate an animal, and that's going to be it for her. Um, but Sid's story is not yet over. So first, she needs to make this roll here. She needs to get a one on four dice. And she did it! Woo! 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 Okay, so that's gonna allow her to remove this orange disc. Oh, and sad little Coda, the woman without with a name is never gonna be mature. So I think she's just gonna remain nameless forevermore. Okay, so now for her super plan to work. I mean, that, that gave her two points having that, right? But, um, you know, Best case scenario, she wants to get three of a kind, then she can um, invent a hand axe darts. Um, at the very least, she wants to be able to release this black disc and get two points with by mining some flint. She doesn't get the three of a kind, but she does get a one or a two, so she does have a mature elder here. That's not the best that could happen, but certainly not the worst. And finally, let's see. This, his elder get to, okay, his alpha doesn't get any special benefit against the red deer. We didn't really think about that, but just has to get two ones or twos and four dice. And it doesn't work out for the animal. All right, so I'm gonna tally up the points and I'll probably meet you at the whiteboard. I'll go ahead and um, alter that as well and we'll see what happens. Alrighty, that was a bit rushed, but that was fun. Sorry, I keep, for... I forget to use my, my my, my uh, voice I'm supposed to use, and I know it's not perfect yet, but I'm, I'm working on it. Um, so let's let's see how things went. Kat obviously won. Those husbands really uh, put her in a good place, but Dan she wasn't too far off of Danimal, actually. She was only 10 points higher than him. Score ended 60 to 50. The story was Sid did not do very well at all. She had 29, so she had less than half of Kaz's score, who was the leader. So how we're going we're gonna to put this on the board is we took the average of the scores and however higher your score, and multiplied it by 10, um, and then multiplied the scores by 10, so Kaz would translate to 600, and then she would subtract the average from that, and then whatever above the average she is, is how many points she's going to get on this board, okay? Because it's going to be a positive a value, and that positive value is 137. So Kaz and Cat was at negative 186, 137. Um, so that's going to just zero out. That's going to turn that into a five or a four. I hate doing this kind of math um, on camera because it's you know there's a lot of pressure doing math on the spot. But I'm just going to write it down. So we have negative 86 plus 37, uh, 6 plus 7. Oh, actually, it's going to negative 86 minus 37 is how we think about it, right? So it's 9, so it's a 4, 49, negative 49 now. That's pretty good.
I think. It's been a while, but I think our cutoff is if you get to negative 750, you're out, right? So now it's Danimal. He goes up 47 points. So he was even above the average. That's how low Sid was. Danimal, Danimal, where are you at, Danimal? Okay. Um, well, he's fine. I'll, I'll, I'll do that later. So, so I don't have to do the math on camera. It's really hard on me. And Sid, luckily, her score is not too low right now to start with. Negative 236, that's, that's not that bad. If she was down here, she'd be out of the game because we're just going to add one, 173 to it, negative 173. So um, subtract 173 from it. Um, so that's going to turn the 6 into a 9, 3 into a 0, and the 2 into a 4, negative 409. So she's starting to get into the danger zone, but she's still in it, which I'm glad. I was kind of worried. I, you know, I, I haven't really played Neanderthal. That, this is probably my first full game, um, and it's solitaire. And it, I, I, I enjoy it. It's interesting. Um, it doesn't excite me in the same way that Greenland did for some reason. Um, but I don't know why that is. Maybe just the, the starting positions are too kind of symmetrical and kind of feel... They, they, they don't feel like they have as much personality. But I think there's some interesting things to explore, like the differences in how you play with the different um, sexual types. Um, I didn't really think too much about the points when I was playing, um, which is you know, partially a result of time and partially because I didn't care that much. But um, if I had more time to play this like I used to, I probably would have gone through and thought thought more about things in terms of how the, the, the people involved would think about them. But even then, I don't usually, you know, if it's like you get this points for this, this points for this, I don't ever tally it out. And you just kind of look at it and it looks like maybe Cat is doing better is kind of what I thought. But I thought, oh, maybe the animal's going to surprise me and he's actually doing better. I did not think at all Sid had a chance. Um, well, at the beginning I did, but towards the end it's, it became apparent that to you at home, I'm sure, and it also became apparent to me at home, I'm sure, that she didn't. All right, so next time, um, we've gone through the full cycle of players um, now. So I think I'm going to do something massive involving um, the game Ghetto. And I'm going to maybe do some additions to it. I had a plan a while back, but again, it's been months since I've done anything. So I'll have to try and remember what my plan was. So that's what I'm thinking I'm going to do. But if I don't remember my plan and I'm not inspired, I'll probably just do something else. So we'll see next time on the Real People Multi-Game Solitaire Mega Tournament.